Okay, so I have protected my surface with some scrap paper. It's actually the back of my Steam Seam 2 that I use for all my applique, and it's on the back of my little rock here. Um, and so I, I love it. It's, it's like a wax paper, so nothing really sticks to it very much. This does a little bit, but um, you really don't need, you just need a scrap. You can use a paper towel even. Um, but I do like this a little bit better because it's a smooth surface. So I want to add some shading to my rock to give it some dimension. So I've got a white uh, Sheba paint stick here. And I just kind of load up my brush back and forth with some paint. And I'm going to do a shadow because I just want a little bit, I want this rock to look like the frost has touched its surface. So I'm just dabbing it on here. I'm brushing it away from me. And I love that if I want more, I can just get some more paint on there and make it a little bit darker where I want it. There are, if I wanted another color, um, like I wanted to add some silver or gray or all kinds of things there, you can add more to it. Just add another layer. Um, there's this really cool things. This is really an old one, so it's ugly, but, uh, this is what the new ones look like. They, these are called, um, blender sticks and this one's an iridescent one. This one's just a matte. Um, you can use it to blend your colors. So like this rock I did, um, it has a silver and a white in it and I blended them together. I, I really found that I use it more on a project when I had um, like a green and a yellow and I was mixing. All these colors are, they're just oil paint. So you can totally mix them to get whatever color you want. 